but the browser gives me information about the items that I've made. These will add, as I create more things, I'll see more in this list. But basically, if I look at my bodies, I've got two bodies. And if I, you can see as I hover over them, they change color to indicate which one's which. But if I turn off the light bulb, it disappears. So sometimes you can hide parts of your drawing, part of your model, to make it easier to get to other parts. But what I want to do is I want to be able to position my lid accurately over the top of the um, bottle lid. So how do I do that? Well, the easiest way is to make each of these things one at a time into what's called a component. So I'm right clicking on the body and I'm going to use the one that says create component from body. So I'm going to click that one and you'll see now I've got it's now become component one. OK, and I might want to call that I'll call that bottle. So I know exactly what it is. It doesn't look any different, but now it's been regarded as a component as, instead of a body. So I'm going to do the same with the other one. I know that this one's the lid, but I can check by turning it on and off. I'm going to right click. I'm going to create a component from it. This component I'm going to call lid. So and I've now got the two bits. I can still go back in and change the colors and whatever else I need to do with them. In fact, I'm going to save now because I haven't saved for a while. Click up here and I'm going to use a save. You can always tell if something's been saved or not because it has a little star next to it if it hasn't been saved. Okay, I'm now going to put the, the lid on top of the body. This is how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to Assemble. I'm going to say I want a joint. And it's going to ask me, what do I want to join together? What's component one and what's component two? So I'm going to select the underneath of my lid. You can see there that's selecting the kind of screw thread part. If I zoom in, you can see a bit better. But there's different parts it can choose. I want that one. I want the screw thread. And now it's saying, where's component two? So I'm going to zoom now, and I'm going to select on my this part the same area. And you can see it automatically brings those two things very close together. In fact, if I put them lined up like this, I can now choose at what height I want that lid to be fixed. Do I want it to be on? Do I want it to be off? Now, you can come back and you can change this later on at any point when you want to take pictures. So it's really useful. I'm going to click OK for now and leave it at that. Um, and you can see I've got a joint symbol on there. Now if I don't want to see that joint symbol, guess what? All I've got to do is come up here where it says joints and turn off the light bulb and that's gone. But it is a joint. So I can come back to my joint in here. I can right click my joint and I can um, edit the joint and I can next time show it with a bottle closed, the lid closed rather. So I've got lots of options for how I can work with that.